Jim, please take the first place award, the first place check, the title of 2024 Arnold Classic, Classic Physique Champ, two-year winner, Wesley Visser. So as you guys can see, history was made at the 2024 Arnold Classic in Men's Classic Physique. Wesley Vissers of the Netherlands comes away with the title in a very narrow one-point decision versus Ramon Dino. So wrapping up our Classic Physique results, here are the top 10 placings. In first place, Wesley Vissers. In second place, Ramon Dino of Brazil. So this was a very close decision between Wesley and Ramon. The judges released the scorecards and only one point separated Ramon and Wesley. So this is as close as it gets in bodybuilding. The judges split almost evenly down the middle with just one more judge giving Wesley the victory over Ramon. In third place, we had Urs Kalachinski. In fourth place, we had Breon Ansley. They also split votes between third and fourth place, respectively. Urs received the majority of the third place votes. Breon also received three third place votes, but Urs edged him out when all the judges' scores were tallied. In fifth place, we had Michael Taboul. In sixth place, Damian Patrick. In seventh place, Emmanuel Rigotti. In eighth, we had Darren Farrell. In ninth place, Eric Brown Jr and in 10th, Kendall Richmond. So those are your placings for the 2024 Arnold Classic Men's Classic Physique Division. Let's jump into some highlights today. But before we get into those highlights, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe for the algorithm. And also check me out on Instagram if you are not with me there already. All the classic updates there as well. Handle is CPC Bodybuilding, so go check me out there. So let's jump into the highlights. <laughs> So here we've got our highlights from pre-judging. This is our top four first call out. We have Wesley Vissers in the middle with Ramon Dino getting moved there, Urs getting moved out, and then Breon Ainsley on the far right. I want to also thank Integral Medica for providing this awesome 4K footage. Into a front relaxed, and immediately in this call out, my eyes go to Wesley Vissers. His detail today was unmatched, especially at pre-judging. Front double bicep. And what I notice about Wesley that really stands out is how large his, his lats look, the width that you see through the lats and the small waist. Side chest is typically a pose that Ramon dominates, but I think Wesley gives him a run for his money because of the detail in the lower body, especially with that glute ham tie-in. Back double bicep, again, this is a story of width right here. Ramon is typically a lot more detailed in this shot, a lot more muscular than most guys, but Wesley's width really takes over in that back double bicep. And Breon has the, bat, the best back double bicep in the game, but Wesley shines. Ab and thigh, again, the detail through the quads for Wesley. Favorite classic. That pose is a little bit more even, I think, because Ramon looks a little bit more detailed in the teacup than Wesley, just with how he hits down on it. Front double bicep again. And you have to admire Breon's arms as well. I do think Urs is probably learning in this specific show that his arms are holding him back a little bit. I think Urs needs to really improve the arms. Urs has a fantastic physique, but the arms are holding him back a little bit, especially when having to go up against three guys right next to him who all have superb arms. Back double bicep again. And all these guys came in great condition. I think Breon brought the best condition out of anyone, especially when you look from every single shot back, side, and front shots. But Wesley, his detail and his lines and his width, that imposing structure is what your eyes always go back to, especially at pre-judging. I think Wesley was just way above everybody else at pre-judging. Now, 
We'll get to it later in the highlights, but Ramon made up some ground at finals, which is why it became such a close show. For the second call out, and again, this is at finals, we've got Darren Farrell there on the far left, Eric Brown Jr. to his right, Emmanuel Rigotti. We've got Michael DeBool in the center, Damian Patrick. Damian Patrick is going to get switched with Emmanuel Rigotti. And then on the far right, we have Kendall Richmond. Into a front double bicep. And my eyes are immediately drawn to the middle three, Damian, Michael, and Emmanuel. They all have fantastic structure in that front double bicep. Side chest. A lot of these guys have great density. I really like Eric in the side chest, as well as Damian and Michael. Those guys all brought tremendous, tremendous condition and have great muscularity in that side chest from head to toe. Back double bicep. A lot of these guys have very, very solid backs. I think the differentiation between a lot of these placings is in the lower body, especially in that back double bicep. Some guys have the glutes and hamstrings, while others, that might be a weaker point for them. Favorite classic here. Gotta love the twisting back double there from Michael and Damian paying homage to the great Arnold Schwarzenegger. Our final call out, the top two, Ramon Dino and Wesley Bissers. And if you look at this footage closely and you compare it to the prejudging footage, you're going to notice that Ramon gets much better from prejudging to finals. And Wesley's detail was what really won him the prejudging. But at finals, I think Ramon makes up a ton of ground. In this side chest, I would have probably given this shot to Wesley at prejudging. But at finals, I have to give it to Ramon. The lower body condition and detail seems to shine a little bit more. Ramon just looks a little bit harder, a little bit more detailed than he did at prejudging. In the back double bicep, though, again, very, very close at finals. Ramon might be a little bit fuller, too, and may have made some posing adjustments because he looks wider in that back double bicep. Add and thigh, I would still give this pose to Wesley because his quad detail is a notch above Ramon's at this show. It's very similar in terms of the lats and the abdominal separation there. And in the favorite classic, I think Ramon's doing a better job of hitting down on the quads there. And I would probably give him the edge there. Favorite classic, really a toss up pose between these guys. Nobody's really separating themselves there, but what a show we had. So there it is, guys. The highlights from a historical Arnold Classic in men's classic physique. Wesley Vissers bringing it home, surprising a lot of people, including myself. Wesley just brought a level of detail and classic structure that was unmatched on this day. So going forward, this is going to have great implications for the Classic Physique Olympia, meaning we are set up for a very exciting year in men's classic physique and i'll be here every step of the way to cover it and give you guys all of the latest highlights the previews and all of the latest updates from the best in classic physique that's going to do it for the video today guys i'm brant for cpc bodybuilding signing out keep it classic y'all see you later